Is lack of time really your problem? Is not having enough time really the reason that you're out of shape? Is that the biggest obstacle? What is your word worth? How many times have you told yourself, tomorrow morning, I'm gonna get up early, I'm gonna get my workout in, I'm gonna have a great day. I'm gonna make this fitness thing happen. And then tomorrow morning comes, your alarm goes off, and you snooze that shit. And then you roll out of bed 45 minutes later, behind the curve, and just falling into another day, just like the one before it. And then you get to the end of that day, and you know, you know what, no, today is the day. Or maybe you say, I'm gonna go to bed early today. I'm gonna, and then what happens, you get home, kids go to bed, your brain's decompressing, and you just gotta chill out. You put on the Netflix, like I'm just gonna watch one show, then I'm gonna go to bed. And then what happens? Two or three shows later, it's past your bedtime. You didn't make it to bed early. You didn't, get, so you're not getting up early. So you're just falling right into the next day again. What is your word worth? Is lack of time really the reason that you're not in shape? Consider that maybe it's actually your lack of integrity. The fact that you're so used to lying to yourself all day, every day. That whenever you make a commitment to something, one side of your brain makes that commitment and the other side goes, yeah, right. I've seen this before. This guy's full of shit. He's not actually gonna follow through on this. What do you think that does to your confidence? Your sense of self-worth? What do you think that operating from this place, <clears throat> what effect does that have on your, the power that you bring into your relationships and into your business? Do you really think that you're an effective leader and you can't even convince yourself of what you're going to do? You can't even get yourself to wake up 15 minutes earlier, literally 15 minutes in order to do a workout. How are you gonna persuade and empower someone else to do anything? Maybe lack of time really isn't your problem. Maybe the reason that you feel so strapped for time is because you're putting in so much effort trying to force these things to happen. You're trying to push past your woeful lack of power. And it's just not working. And you're just getting more frustrated, more manic, more desperate every single day. I know what this feels like. I've been there myself. I was the king of lies. I was the king of false commitment. I used to tell myself, all these things that I was going to do to this day, still sometimes. I make grandiose plans. And then I follow through on maybe like 1% of it. Only recently did I start to discover what a price, what a high price I was paying. What price are you paying? How long is it going to take before is enough, enough is enough? Before you finally look at yourself in the mirror one day and say, fuck this. I am not dealing, putting up with this anymore. I don't care what I have to shift around. I don't care. How early I have to wake up, or how early I have to go to bed, or the amount of TV I won't get to watch, or the pain 
and the discomfort it's going to take for me to shuffle my schedule around and my expectations and my expectations of myself your expectations of yourself it's really hard to take a leap of faith to dial back this rampant hustler mentality that you've been born and bred into, that you and I have been born and bred into. And there is a very unpopular notion that you know, doing less will actually help us to accomplish more. I've heard very few people say that. But when push comes to shove, is what you're doing really working? Not just in your business. Is what you're doing really working when you zoom out and look at your business and your health and your relationships and your spiritual connection? See, most men are afraid to actually zoom out and look at all of these things. They'd rather just stay focused, stay myopic, stay short-sighted in this one game that they've succeeded at playing. And the reason they've succeeded is because they've sacrificed all the rest. It doesn't have to be that way. There is a game, there is a way to play this game where you can win on all levels, on all fronts. That's what we're all about. But it's going to be uncomfortable. It's going to take some courage. It's going to take confidence that comes from a place where you have not, up until this point, found it. Muscles that, up until this point, you have not exercised. But they're there. They're just waiting. waiting for you to take this leap. I encourage you. Think about what's working and what's not working. And if lack of time is really a problem. And after you've done that, go ahead and subscribe to Purpose Fit on YouTube and join our club, the Unbreakable Fitness Club on Facebook and start to open your mind up to other possibilities, possibilities for your life where you don't have to throw your health and your fitness under the bus in order to provide for your family. You don't have to sacrifice how you look. You don't have to have this expanding waistline and continually diminishing physical capabilities just in order to achieve some level of status professionally. You can have it all. I look forward to seeing you guys there, maybe on this next video.